welcome to my channel my name is Rachel and if you are new here thank you for choosing today's video and whether it was the title or the thumbnail I'm hoping you enjoy the content and of course if you are coming back as a subscriber hey I hope you are well as always thank you for tuning in and of course I hope you enjoy the video too for all of you watching you know I'm really gonna say if you are new here please be sure if you are enjoying the content to thumbs up and subscribe of course if you subscribe already thanks but be sure to thumbs up as well. So as you can see by the title of today's video, I'm giving you some Zara goodness as always. You guys love Zara and I love shopping on Zara. Honestly, 70% of my wardrobe, 60 to 70% consists of Zara stuff from clothes to coats to shoes, bags, the lot. So with that being said, you already know I love shopping and you guys love the content as well. But there's a second reason why I'm excited to be doing this video today and it's because I am working with a brand who honestly, the fact that they even approached me is mind-blowing. Um, so yeah, let's get into the video. I did want to mention that I've been kindly gifted with some items by a brand that honestly, like honestly, is a brand that I can stand by, I can vouch for, and I'm definitely a fan of. So even saying this is like super, super crazy, but in that same breath, I wanna say thank you to you guys because realistically, I would not be on their radar if it wasn't for you guys. So from the likes to the subscription to the support, thank you guys so much because honestly, it's little wins like, if not even little, it's wins like this that, yeah, are just super, super special. So I say all of that to say, let me, let me, let me hold up the little bag. I have kindly been gifted some items by the one and only Monica Vinidar. Now, some of you may know the brand already. They are quite a big brand, so I'm expecting that you would have at least heard their name or maybe seen other people wear it. Maybe you wear it already. But Monica Vinidar have kindly gifted me with some items. And honestly, your girl got excited. I actually picked up some extra pieces myself because like I said, as a brand and their jewelry and all of that stuff, I love their bits. And it's so crazy because you guys already know how much I love jewelry. You see me wear it all the time with my many piercings and all of that stuff. So jewelry is something that I'm constantly wearing, constantly changing. So to have a brand like this, where I know the quality is like top notch and they have just like great pieces, it's Oh yeah, I think now the packaging that it all came in, I made sure that I gave myself some gift packaging because you know, obviously. Um, love how everything has come. As you can see, I have quite a few pieces and I've really, really, really struggled to not wear things prematurely, but I think I've done quite well. So if you're doing like, there's different ways to do like the gift packaging. You can give yourself like a little note. So it comes in this little envelope. And as you can see here, I just wrote to myself to the first of many with a little X. So you can literally put whatever sort of message or anything you want, whether it's to yourself, whether it's to a loved one, family, friends, whatever, anything like that. Um, and then equally, the packaging that it comes in is literally top tier. So typically, I think even if it's not gift boxed um, or gift packaging, should I say, you usually get like this blue sleeve. Um, I'll double check and leave the details below for you guys. But I love the fact that everything comes in these little boxes. And then you have like this sleeve that comes in here as well. But I mean, I'm not just going to mention it to you without giving something to you guys as well. Every item that I read out or mention in this video or that you probably see me wearing now, finally, for the next few weeks and thereafter, you can get 20% off of. So they have kindly gifted me to gift you guys a discount code. So anything and everything you see, whether you're a new customer, existing customer, you've shopped with them before, all of that stuff, you can get 20% off, which is amazing. To mention some of the items that I got from them, I got the Ziggy Huggy earrings, the triple beaded choker necklace, which are actually pieces that I'm wearing right now. So you've got the Huggies just here and the triple beaded necklace um, choker. Then the Siren Muse small hoop earrings I'm also wearing right now. The signature thin ring is something else I picked up. Then some other pieces are the Ziggy single huggy earring, the Siren stacking ring, the Siren Muse ID necklace, and the sig signature, can't even speak, signature skinny bangle. So of course, as I said guys, all details will be below. I'm hoping you enjoy the little cutaway so you can see some of the pieces a lot um, closer up and a lot better. Check out their website, you have the discount code, so again, use it as you wish. Um, but yeah, I just wanna say a huge thank you again to Monica Vinida. I can finally wear my pieces. 
um thank you so much guys thank you to you guys as well and yeah let's get on with the rest of the video okay so getting into the zara items scooting over a little bit the first item i actually want to show you are these trousers which for me i have shown i think i've shown you guys before i think i have if i haven't this is something that's definitely different for me because from Zara, I do not typically venture into this realm, into the realm of this item in particular because it don't usually go well, but this has really made sense. I picked up in a size medium and it's $29.99 and they are leather trousers. Now the lighting is really having them looking like bin bags almost, but I promise they are not that shiny. Love these because they're a full leg trouser and of course they're leather, which I think is a perfect, perfect, perfect material for the autumn winter season this is faux leather which again i'm sure some of you can appreciate but another thing i really love about it is the lining on the inside which to me just means on those days where yes it's warm and um, what no yes it's cold <laughs> but you start getting warm because you're so layered up and whatnot you don't have that awkward sort of like stickiness of the material sticking to your leg because everyone knows if you've ever worn like a pu or a faux leather dress or something like that it's not cute. These I think are perfect, like I said, autumn winter staple for sure, and you can definitely dress it up and dress it down. I'm 5'7 in height for reference, and a UK 8 on the top and a UK 10 on the bottom, and these fit me perfectly lengthwise, so I could definitely get away with just wearing it with trainers. Equally, I could wear it with heels if I wanted to, so that is the first item. I'm sure when I said I was gonna do autumn winter staples or Zara staples in general, you guys knew you were gonna see these jeans. If you are new here, you know, if you're not new here, sorry, you know what I'm talking about. If you're new here, they are my trusty, trusty, uh, fling it up, wide leg denim jeans. These jeans, these jeans. I feel like these are like the first or second pair of jeans I ever bought from Zara where I was just like, do you know what? Zara might be my go-to now for certain denim, like certain bottoms. They are so good. I picked mine up in a Euro 40, which is a UK size 12. So I usually size up for their denim, which I think everyone and their mum knows to do when it comes to Zara jeans, especially if you have like any hips, bum, anything in that area, just size up. Love these because they have that raw hem and they are a wide leg, which means comfort wise, they're obviously basically the opposite to skinny jeans. I love these for the autumn winter as well because if you do want to layer up underneath whether you're wearing tights or leggings depending on how loose um, these are on you you can get away with it and i just i love that absolutely love that this i've had for a minute so like i said if you know if you've been here you know how long i've been showing you these jeans but zara do have some really really good alternatives especially there's a really cute one where it has like the asymmetric button detail Quite nice. I did try those, but I think if you buy those, you might have to size up two sizes, just saying. But with that being said, I will link some alternatives for you guys below. But these are so perfect to dress up, dress down. Look amazing with knitwear. Um, so yeah, these are definitely a staple, I would say. Next item I've definitely shown you. So if you haven't checked out my recent haul, I will put it in the cards above. It is this knitwear piece, which I've actually picked up in a size small, and it's $27.99. And it is this knitted jumper here. Now I'm hoping it doesn't mess up the lighting too much. You won't see it too much um, from that distance, but if I come up a bit closer, I love the knit on this. It is soft, it is stretchy, it's a chunky knit, but not too heavy. Love this sort of like crew rib neckline, and I love the sleeves as well, because they have that sort of like balloon effect sleeve. So, so flattering. Lovely for when you want to tuck it in, if you want to wear it loose. Like it's really cute and I love the fact that the sleeves are cuffed as well. Now it goes without saying, knitwear, autumn winter season, I mean when else are you going to wear knitwear right? And I love this because it's so so simple. I think I said it in my previous haul as well. I just love the simplicity of it and how it fits. I would definitely say it's true to size. If you want it to be like oversized, then you probably see again in my previous haul how it looked when I tried it on but they've got it in a cream, they've got it in the black and they've got it in a blue as well. So the cream and the black are two that I think are perfect to have in your wardrobe. And I actually think it will really wash well as well. So if we're talking staples, knitwear and knitted jumper, especially black and cream, I think is perfect to have. And this I think is such a great quality and such a great fit that it's definitely one I would recommend. So that would be another one of my staples. Sticking to knitwear to some degree, I've actually worn this. So I'm thinking price wise, I do believe it was either 17 or 19.99. And it is this three quarter length turtleneck jumper. 
Now I love this because one is turtleneck, but I actually love the difference of it not being a full sleeve. And I think Zara actually do ones that are sleeveless as well as just like the classic full length sleeve. But I love the three quarter length because it kind of gives you like a old school sort of vibe when you wear it like with loose wide leg trousers or like wide leg jeans. It's super, super cute and very good for layering as well. Now this, um, again, they do in other colors. And if we're talking about the knit, it's a very different knit to the other jumper I showed you before. It's more of like that fine knit, which I'm sure you guys will already have anticipated. Similar to the jumper I mentioned before, this is a staple just because of what it is. You can definitely wear it, layer it up, wear a shacket over it maybe, or a cardigan, definitely with a blazer as well is a good way to go. But equally on those days where it's like, cold but not like super freezing this is really nice just to have on um with itself throw in your trench coat and call it a day in this minky sort of nudey color really really love this color because i think it goes so well with a lot of the nude bottoms that i have as well so again if we're talking variation and what zara have they definitely do have different colors you can check it out and of course it will be linked below for you as well now another top to mention which i think might be a bit odd because of the weather but again if we're talking layering and just staple pieces is a t-shirt this one is 9.99 and i picked it up in a size medium and it is just this simple v-neck t-shirt now i've definitely shown this to you guys before because i have it in black white recently the green and now this nude color as well Again, perfect for layering, but I love this because it has a V neckline instead of like a round neckline. Again, grateful if you're layering jewelry, as I usually do, so you can see and show it off like that. But these are really, really nice under blazers as well. Sorry if the frame's a little bit off, guys. My battery died, which usually very rarely does. But anyway, here we are. So as I was saying with the t-shirt, it's definitely a great staple, something just to have in your wardrobe. And equally, because of like the lightness of the material, you can definitely get away with wearing this through the year. I think a good thing is with a lot of the pieces I'm mentioning, maybe not so much like the heavier knits as well as maybe like the leather trousers, there is that sort of functionality and just like versatility, which means you can wear it all year round. And this is definitely one of those items. Not see-through too tough, but I think the white one, you probably do have to be careful with what underwear you're wearing. But again, like I said, I just love the fact that this is a V-neck. It means I can show off my jewelry, layer up accordingly, basically just trying to keep myself warm if I need to. Um, but equally, I really, really like this color. I feel like some nudes can be a little bit off sometimes for me at least, uh, but I think this is really nice. So definitely one to check out and a great price as well, 9.99. And as I said, I picked up in a size medium and it goes all the way up to an XXL. Now to change it up and show you something that I definitely haven't been showing you much of, but we're at that season. Um, this is, I picked up in a size medium. It was 59.99 originally, but if you see this in time, check special prices because you can get it for $29.99 and it is this puffer coat here. Now, as I said, coats and jackets, of course I haven't been showing you. I think I did like a video a few months back of like my coats and blazer collection. Let me know if you want to see an updated one of that, by the way. But yeah, safe to say we are definitely in that season, of course. This puffer coat I picked up because I have one that's in more of like a faux leather material with a hood. But I wanted something without the hood. So when I saw this, especially it being in special prices, it was literally half price. I was like, yeah, I have to have this. Now, this one is amazing because as you can see, material wise, it isn't shiny or anything, but it's basically a water resistant jacket. It has the drawstrings at the bottom, which I think is always great for these puffer coats. It's really, really good to be able to adjust. And it's got the same thing at the top as well. Now, again, of course, this is a try on, so you'll see it a lot better when I'm trying it on. But I also love the fact that it has the sort of ribbed cuff as well as the little thumb hole. Honestly, I don't know what it is with that little being able to do that, but it really, really makes sense. And it just means you don't have to wear gloves and you can still keep your hands warm-ish enough. Now, texture wise, oh yeah, it has a concealed hood lovely i won't bring it out fully because i hate having to shove those things back in but it does have a hood just tucked in there i only just remembered and noticed because i saw the zip i was like what's that for love that love that don't we just little things like that but yeah if you can get your hands on this there's definitely another color i think like a khaki color so i'd say this is one to check out um so yeah a puffer coat definitely a necessity um, and this one is a great price, so why not? 
And then last but not least are these last bottoms that I picked up, which again, different for me. But I noticed that with a lot of the shoes and the tops and just other items of clothing that I have, one thing I was missing is like a lighter pair or a lighter color bottom. So I was looking for leggings in particular because I feel like when it comes to autumn, winter, comfort is key. And so I really wanted to find like some beige or nude colored leggings. I managed to find these ones in Zara for $19.99 and I picked it up in a medium and they just look like this. Love the fact that it has like this banded waistline, um, which isn't thick actually, it's actually thinner than a material if anything. And then the rib is just like this as well. So a nice thick um, knitted rib. And then it just goes down to a normal leg, no cuff or anything like that. These I would say fit great. Like I said, I'm a UK 10 on the bottom and I mean I have a bum. So it does manage to pull up quite comfortably. I did like the squat test and everything. It doesn't slip down, so it's great in that sense. And I just think it would look really nice with like white trainers or like lighter colored beige or neutral shoes or boots. Um, so that was my main reason for picking them up. I didn't want to pick up like white or ivory because I feel like that's too light for me. So I feel, feel like this is a perfect, perfect sort of medium, middle, sort of beige, neutral colour. So yeah, $19.99, definitely a good buy, especially for how it feels. I'm wondering if they will come up with other colours, like even if they do it in black, I'm not sure, but these are really nice. And leg length, they fit just about right. I think they go just above my ankle. But again, even if you're wearing real trainers, that's long enough. And equally, if you're wearing it with boots, then you're not going to see it at all. So yeah, those were the last bottoms and the last staple that I'll mention. So guys, that takes us to the end of the video. And if you have made it to the end, thank you very much. Those are some of the pieces I wanted to show you with regards to autumn winter staples. It's cold now. So as you can see, these staples are more geared towards winter. They're things I'm gonna be wearing over the next few months. And honestly, I think quite a few of my outfits um, are gonna be centered around some of the pieces I've shown you. So they will be really good, sort of like foundational pieces to build around and mix and match together as well. Hopefully the cutaways have shown you how they look on and like just simple ways that I'll style them. But it doesn't have to be all of them, of course, you guys already know the vibe. But if you do see a piece that you like, I honestly think these will be really, really good ones to get. Like I said, I've literally bought some of these just this week. So stock wise, you should be able to still get your hands on them. But check the links below. Everything will be down there. Prices, details, all like that. So hopefully if you did like something that you saw, um, you'll be able to secure it as well. Now with that being said, as I said, if you have made it to the end, thank you very much. And a huge thank you again to Monica Vinita for gifting me with the jewelry pieces. I'm so, so excited to continue wearing them and showing you guys as well. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, be sure to check that out as well because I'm gonna be doing some content there too. I actually need to pick up the content there. So you guys, you know, you can head over there, give us, give us a follow and then you'll see what happens there as well. But as I said, thank you for reaching the end point. If you are new here, welcome again, but I hope I can see you guys next week as well. Sunday, 7 p.m., that is when I post. But until then, be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. Stay well, stay blessed, good vibes only, and I will see you guys soon.